Well, hey, Canaan, uh, this is Pastor Daniel, and uh, happy to bring you this week's update. Hope all of you are having a, a fantastic week. Uh, we've got some exciting things going on this week and coming up real soon. I uh, just want to kind of begin running some of these uh, down with you. So first of all, uh, you know, this past Sunday, we finished up our Glad You Asked series, and we finished up by talking about civil disobedience. Well, this week on our weekly podcast, the Canaan STL podcast, we have a special guest that you don't want to miss, William Federer. Uh, he's a well-known author and speaker about um, government and um, you know faith issues throughout the history of our government. So he's a he's a fantastic guest that we had, are able to have on our podcast. So uh, we will be talking about civil disobedience and and you know how that all works today. So uh, you don't want to miss that podcast coming out later this week. So make sure that you tune in um, for that. Also, this Sunday we start a brand new series as we go through the Old Testament book of Haggai, and the name of the series is Returning to Normal with a question mark. Uh, because the context of Haggai takes place in about um, you know 520, 530 BC, right there in that time frame, when the Hebrew people had been in exile for 70 years. Jerusalem had been destroyed by the Babylonians, and now they're getting the opportunity to go back to Jerusalem. And so embedded in them are these expectations of, hey, we get to go back to normal. We get to go back to the way things used to be. And so we're going to kind of journey with them as how they navigated that. And when those expectations of normal didn't always happen, how did they respond? How did they process that? What was the Lord doing in the big picture? So we see a lot of very tangible applications to us as we're looking at, you know, not coming out of exile, but in a way coming out of this COVID exile we've been in now that we have the vaccines and they're starting to be administered. We don't know how much longer it's going to be, but we have an expectation of returning to something of a normal. But it's, it's probably not going to be exactly like things were, whether it's workforce, whether it's, you know, kids activities and sports, even church life has changed. So what's going to happen when maybe some of our expectations aren't met? And what is the Lord trying to do through all this? So we'll see a lot of tangible applications through this series. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, it'll be all through the month of February. If you go through this little short Old Testament book called Haggai and the Minor Prophets. So uh, look forward to that. Don't miss a single um, uh, message in that series. It's going to be a lot of fun. Also, um, just want to let you know to be, keep praying for our worship search team. They have been serving diligently. They're back in the saddle. We kind of gave them a month off of the holidays and they're back in it. But just be praying for them, for God to raise up and make it very clear who uh, the man of God is to lead us in our worship here coming up in the in the very uh, near future. Um, also, I just want to uh, let you know of Easter. We're, we're making plans for Easter now, not just Easter Sunday, but the whole Easter season. And we have a lot of events coming up. We're going to tell you about these Sunday, but just kind of give you a sneak peek about these. Um, we're going to do two Easter outreach events. We're going to do one on March the 20th at our Melville campus location. Uh, where we're going to do, you know, give out some eggs, maybe have a bounce house, but I have like a walkthrough of the gospel story of the resurrection. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to impact our Melville campus community. But then on March 27th, we're having an outreach event here on our Oakville campus. You know, what, what you consider Canaan Baptist Church now, right? Um, we're going to have an outreach event here where we're having um, a, a gospel presentation through an illusionist. He's going to do just, it, he's a very godly man who just uses little, you know, little illusions as a way to, to express the gospel. And so it's a, it's really fantastic. He's, he's been here before with our upwards ministry, basketball ministry, did a great job. So excited to have him come in and we're going to do this several times that day for our community. So in, in all of that, we're going to start asking, publicizing that, but then, you know, ask, giving you opportunity to volunteer and to serve the Lord as we reach out to the community. Also planning a Good Friday service. It'll be Good Friday night at 7 p.m. And then, of course, our Easter morning services uh, here at Canaan. So a lot of that information is coming, but just to begin to, you know, kind of give you the save the day concept and whet your appetite a little bit for the opportunity we have to really serve our community and give them uh, the gospel. And then lastly, um, just kind of a, an administrative thing. It's a big deal here at Canaan, but uh, we are transitioning our church management system uh, the online. So those of you that have been a member here, you know, we've been using what's called Church Community Builder, or CCB. And we are, we are, we have now transitioned from that to a new platform called Planning Center. 
And um, we've already done, the staff has already done the heavy lifting on this and gotten everything set up. For a vast majority of you, it will be little, very, very minor to no impact uh, on you directly. But for like small group leaders or connection group leaders or ministry team leaders, committee leaders, uh, there is a little bit of difference. So uh, if you have questions about that, you want to contact Pastor Mike or Justin Yeary here at the church office. But lastly, for all of you, I do have a favor to ask for all of you. Um, later today or in the next couple of days, you will receive an email inviting you to join our new online church directory. And so this enables us to really stay connected with one another so that we can carry on the different one another's of scripture that we've talked about through the vision 2025, uh, through being able to contact each other or just, you know, have the, the picture on there for each other. So please follow those instructions on this email and join our directory. Um, letting us know how we can contact you, uh, whether by, by phone, email, postcard, or all of the above. Um, so, you know, God made us to, to really rely on each other and to be the body of Christ. And this is a great tool that we have as a church family to facilitate us accomplishing those one another. So, so please follow the directions on that email. That would be greatly appreciated. All right. Well, I hope all of you have a fantastic rest of the week. And um, can't wait to see you this Sunday as we begin our, our next series on um, Haggai. So God bless. Have a great week.